2000. July 10th. July the 10th, I believe. And this is the railway bed that went down to the uh, turntable. And this is the powerhouse. All that's left of the powerhouse, the giant powerhouse when I was a kid. Now not so big. This is that giant hill we used to play on beside the tracks. Went away up there. Now, now it's not so high. This here is the uh, former Blystone residence area. Nothing there now. The track up to the water tower. Uh, that's where our house used to be, and this is coming over the other side. You look down the hill, down to the main road. It's probably the remains of our house down there. All those scrap pieces of wood and stuff. Pushed over the side. So this is the area looking from the, the wheelhouse, or the round, not the wheelhouse, the turntable, towards the maintenance area. Looking up towards the powerhouse. Not much left here now. Probably said that already. This is the road up from the uh, main road down below up to where the maintenance sheds were, which are right here. This is where Bill, Bill Kales and Mary Kales had their house. And there used to be a trail that went up the hill there to a gardens up there. And this is where uh, Fred and Doris Emery had their house. Used to go out here, they used to have a nice little patch of grass here and garden over there. Nice little setting. And this is the parking lot at the powerhouse, that's where the uh, transformers sat. And that's where the powerhouse is. Looking from where Quives used to have their walkway, that's where Connie Leander used to live down below there. And there's some foundation left of the Quife house. Not much, a little bit of rock wall, wood laying around. One corner of the foundation still standing. And there's the, uh, the gate post with the gate hinges, hinges still in it at the Quife house. It's part of the uh, front yard of the Quife's house. Still got the rock walls made out of stone. Still some lilac bushes. And rose hips. I guess these are red currants. So lots of those. This is the uh, main top part of where Allenby used to be, the town center of Allenby. The houses used to be in here, the company houses. And a little general store used to be right about there someplace. Let's see, the school, I believe, used to be up in here. And then there used to be a, an arena, like a outdoor arena right about in here someplace. It's getting pretty big many years ago. Uh, this is Allenby today. And right here we just came up the hill from Allenby. And that's where the town, the school, the general store was. And now somebody's gone and built a house over here. Big house there across from where the school was. Fence line. Some more roads over in there. That's down towards the uh, where the where we used to live in that area. That little road there is the road up to the uh, to where Bill and Kales and. Emery's used to live. And that's probably where Connie used to live. 
and Coif's used to live, and that's where the powerhouse was, and we lived just beyond that. And then the smelter was down in there in that flat area. left here 1956 I believe and I was just started grade three anyway it's a giant this well actually we're on the road to um, Copper Mountain and this is a giant tailings pond and it basically fills up the valley down there and uh, we just came up out of the valley, or on our way up out of the valley. And this thing, it must be, oh, I don't know, a couple hundred, two or three hundred feet deep. Just full of that uh, tailings. It's quite an impressive sight. And it goes a long ways back, as you can see. I think you can see the other end of it when you're coming up uh, the whole Princeton Highway. Looking across the other side, you'll see the other end of this thing. Little shock over there. A pipeline coming out of it. Going to it, whatever. <laughs> 